Hey guys, it's Janet from JRK Handcrafted. Uh, I'm a little late getting this off to you. I was trying to, I've actually filmed this twice and um, it, it didn't have all the information I wanted in it. So I thought I'd redo this again. And this is just a video that I said I would record um, that will talk about if you are either making or you've received a mini album, what's the best way to apply your photos or cut them out or get them prepared to go into your mini album. So what I've done is I've just created a, a kind of a large mat here that has various different photo sizes on it. This side is completely covered, um, is basically used just for photos. And this side has pattern paper on it with a mat where you would place a photo. So. Um, what I'll do is I do have some photos that we can put down on here, um, but let's talk about um, some of the applications that you can use to apply your photos to your paper. <clears throat> um, so there's a few of them and I'll just kind of bring them in here. Um, glue. Now this is art glitter glue. I use this um, to put down all my pattern paper. I don't use it to completely construct my mini albums, but I do use it to um, put down any of the pattern paper or any of the, the colored paper that you see, uh, either that make up the album or that make up the, the mats themselves. Uh, it is water-based, it is non-toxic, uh, non it dries acid-free, so it is okay with photos. Um, art glitter glue, and I do have a fine tip on this. So you could use this to put your pictures down um, and it would be perfectly fine. It, it won't damage at all your photos. What I wouldn't suggest though is that you use like a school glue or a glue that is, this is fairly thick and it dries very quickly. Um, or I wouldn't use a, um, a glue that's very liquidy. Uh, you're going to just end up kind of making a mess on your on your album no matter how hard you try the glue is going to seep out around the edges and then you're going to have it onto your pattern paper it may dry clear but still be shiny and it, or may not dry clear and leave a residue uh, around your photos which once the mess is made you can't really you can't really fix it so um this glue will work like i said it has to be like something like art glitter, glitter glue and you can get this on Amazon. Um, there's similar products at um, Michael's or some of the other craft stores uh, that can be used. As long as it's acid free, it means it won't hurt the photographs. Okay, so that's one way to apply um, your photos. Um, another way is with a tape runner. And the way that um, you would use this particular product is this is just one that I, I had gotten at the dollar store um, and the way that it'll work I'll just grab a piece of cardstock here um, is you would take off in this particular one it has a little a little and on it I'm just gonna move this out of the way okay and this would just run down your photo okay so you could go around the outside or just go go a couple of places on there and then tack your photo down. Um, now this is, um, I guess it would be permanent. You probably could jimmy the photo off if you decided that you didn't need it down the road. But I have the big kind of humongous one that I use all the time and I use this for making my cards and whatnot. Um, I would use this or this. This is not messy at all. Um, and you can position your, um, your photographs fairly well with it and, and we'll use one or both of these later on to show you that. Um, so that's a, that's a tape runner or the double sided tape. Don't let this size of this scare you. It actually is very easy to manage. However, if you're just, if you're just trying to do a, um, an album that you've received as a gift, then obviously you're not going to go out and you're not going to, you're not going to purchase this product, but you can get something similar at the craft stores or even at the dollar store that would get you by. Okay. Um, the next thing is, uh, photo corners. 
and I'll, I'll we'll do an example of how those now these photo corners are like the old ones well maybe that some of you will remember that we used to put um they used to be most of the times they were black and they went on the corners of your photos and then held them in place the one uh, awesome thing about these is that they stick on the corners and we'll apply something using these as well um, and then you can just remove the picture so as long as your picture is the same size you can swap it out so if you use a lot of four by sixes and you want to use these photo corners then you can swap out your photos as often as you want the other um item i think they're called photo squares and i apologize i don't have an example of that but what they are is they're like a double-sided tape but they're just in a, a small square and you and you peel the backing off stick it on your picture then peel the other backing off and stick it on your on your paper so uh, again those you can find uh, i think in most of the dollar stores and uh, some of the craft stores as well so like i said i apologize i don't have an example for you of that but that's another item that you can use. Um, Double-sided tape also comes um, like a scotch tape. This is an Elmer's permanent and it comes off just like a regular uh, scotch tape does but it's double-sided. So I'll bring back the card here and um, so I pull this off just kind of break it off like this apply it and then you would pull the backing off and then it's sticky underneath. So this one, you could cut to size or put that down on your thing, and then it's safe until you take that, that backing off. And then you're, you're good to go. Um, now, uh, you can also buy the rolls like this that don't have the applicator, but that are the rolls. And these rolls um, come in numerous sizes, so eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, three-eighths of an inch, half an, half an inch. Um, I, use, I use these a lot for... Um, creating my albums um, and one of the popular brands is Sook Wang but you can get something very similar on uh, as well as the Sook Wang on Amazon or um, some of your local craft stores. Um, one of the other <clears throat> things is a is a glue stick. Now this one is repositionable and it's photo safe and I get this on Amazon it's scotch and it's a glue stick and what I do, let me grab one that I'm working on here. And this is what I use actually when I put these, when I put these remove and replace down. Okay. Um, and the reason why you might want to use this is if you're just putting your pictures in an album, like these, these will stay on unless I want to pull them off. So this is a good one um, to put your pictures on until you get them the way you want them. Uh, if you want to leave them like that, that's fine. But if you do want to pull them up, they do pull up without wrecking anything behind. So it won't hurt your photo. Uh, they're acid free, so they're safe to use. Um, and like I say, they come off without, without damage anything or if you want to leave them on, you can. So let's see, so we've covered glue We've talked about photo corners and we've talked about the photo squares. I just didn't have an example of those. We talked about tape runners, both the humongous and the smaller version. We've talked about um, our glue stick. Uh, you can get permanent glue stick as well. Um, I just find that glue sometimes, like I said, is a little bit messy. If you don't have full control of it, it tends to leak out if it's uh, not a uh, if it's more of a liquid cons consistency. Um, yes, and the double-sided the double-sided tape that comes like this as well. So, the other thing that we have to talk about is, okay, so Janet, you have different sizes of photos on here. So, what do I do there? Like, how do I, how do I get my picture to fit in here? So, one way is... Um, Four by sixes is usually not an issue because that's normally how most people get their, their photos um, printed anyway. So if you're getting them um, done through whatever your photo printer is, whether it's Walmart, Costco, your local photo photography shop, um, whatever, the four by sixes are great. They'll just fit on there. Um, I have a selfie that um, prints out various um, pictures and I can get them in various sizes here 
Um, and those I just print from my phone. These are not uh, regular four by sixes. And that's okay for me because I, I can kind of make this any size I want, but that's another option. And the other option is you may want to print these yourself. So, you know, just on your, on your printer, you can use your, um, any kind of, uh, photo editing program you have lots of times on your phone, you can edit your pictures and make them the size that you want. You can crop them, you can do whatever. Um, so that when you print them, they're already the size. You just need to cut them out. So, um, I've gone ahead and I've printed, this is my family. I, um, uh, this is part of a, an album that I've done for, um, my son and his wife and their children. So then all you would do in this case, um, if I, this is a four by six of my granddaughter and my grandson. So then I would just cut this. Now, if you have a, a cutter, uh, if you do scrapbooking or you do have a cutter at home already, then you could do this fairly quickly for our purposes though. I'm just going to I'm just going to cut it out just because this is what you would be doing. And this is an easy one. It's a four by six. I, I sized it, I, I believe. Oh, I'll have to check. I believe I sized it to four by six when I went to print it. So we'll see how close I am anyway. And then I'm going to slide this in. I'm going to slide this into where one of the four by six. And if you know my albums at all, the remove and replace is basically just that. And I tell you what size photo would fit here. So in this case, a four by six will fit right in here. And doesn't that look cool? Those kids look awesome. So what I would do in this case is I would pull this up, okay, because this is removable. Now I'm going to use, let's use, I'm just going to use this little blue runner here. So I would flip it over and take the top off and I would run this across and then I would turn this over and then right where that photo was I'm going to put this one down okay so I'm just going to kind of center it up here as best I can trying to make it even there we go and there's my first photo okay sorry if there's any glare there I was going to print matte but um, I thought the kids would probably like the, the glossy. So let me kind of pick this up a little bit and see if I can get the shine out of there for you. Uh, well, maybe there. So, so that fits in there. Now, I have this photo that um, um, is not quite three by four. So I need a way to kind of be able to cut this down. So I'm going to cut the photo out first. And I know it's a little bit, I think it's three wide, but I think I have to crop a little bit out of the height of it so that it's only four inches high. I try to keep all my, all my um, openings or, or places where you're going to be putting photos. I try to keep them all to similar sizes so that you're not having to recreate templates all the time um, or change your photo. So if this was a four by six, I'd have to cut it down to a three by four in order to fit in this area here. Okay. But um, what I do, what I will do that makes life easier for me is I've taken just um, um, one of the binder sleeves that, that has the stitching down the side. And um, this one I've just cut down to three by four. Any plastic you have from old packaging, anything will, will work. I just find that something, you really need to have something see-through because if I want to cut, the, I've already cut this down by the way to three by four. But if I want to be able to see where I want to center this on here, like what can I afford to lose on that picture so that I don't, you know, lose anything I can either hold it and I can cut I can cut my picture using this like this and cut the bottom that way I'll always have my template I can always see through it I could mark on it with a with a sharpie just three by four so I know the size but now I know that my photo 
should fit right in here. And it does. So then I would just remove this remove and replace because I know it was a three by four because that's what it said on the picture there. And let's just use some glue. Let's use some of this removable glue stick. We'll say, well, maybe we might change this out after, or we may leave it there. So I just, I just go across it three times, even on a four by six. I'll turn my mat upside down just so that I can see it better here. And I'll place my three by four picture in here. Try to kind of space it out. Oops, I'm a little bit low here. Um, I can maybe trim a little bit more off of that. I think it will. There we go. Okay, and I'll stick my three by four on here. Okay, so this one was put down with the glue runner. Or the sorry, the, the um, tape runner, tape glider, double sided. This one I put down with the um, removable glue stick. So those are really uh, easy, nice, clean ways to do your photos. Um, now I do have a three by three that I did size to three by three here. Um, so let's cut that one out. And I probably could have not had you have to watch me cut this, but I thought, you know what? I just want to make sure that you realize that even though these albums have like going, oh my gosh, look at all these. A lot of these photos, like when we cut this down, there was trees in the background that we really didn't need to see back here. Um, and so when you're printing out your own pictures or even when you're getting them printed at um, uh, your printers, um, there's lots of times when there's stuff kind of noise all around the picture and depending on how pixelated your or you know the the quality of your photo is you can zoom in and get just the focal um the the, the focal area of your picture and get rid of the noise and so you know a, a four by six maybe looks better as a four by four because there's stuff on either side of the of your focal image that you really don't need so this I've just cut, this is a three by three, and it would go in here. So you can see now that you've kind of got this really cool um, group of pictures here. Um, now let's put this one down with the, um, these are the photo corners, okay, not the little squares. These are the photo corners, and um, let's remove a piece of paper here. Okay, let me get rid of that. Okay, so the easiest way that I found to do this is, uh, let me see if I can do this right for you. Okay, so they slide in to the little, whoops, they slide into little corners, okay, and then you pull them off. So I find usually that the easiest thing to do is put the top two in there so you can kind of get them started. So I've they're hard to see because they're clear but I've got the two of them sitting there I'm gonna kind of put my photo where I think it should go we'll say there okay so now it's kind of anchored now I can go back and I can take another one of the photo corners I'll turn this so it's easier for me and I'll slide this one up under here whoops slide it in under there and then tack that down, and then I can do the last corner. I'll just get the very last one here, peel this off. I find it's easier to do two, and then come back and do the other two, because now you've got it anchored, and you can more easily, I don't know if you can, hopefully you can see that, and then put that down. Now, the benefit of this is, if I decide I want to remove this picture, I can, without hurting it or anything. Now. You, I don't know if you can see. Maybe I'll lift that up so you can see. So the four corners are still there. So if you had another three by three, you certainly could put them back in there. Um, so that that is an option. And like I said, that's kind of the old-fashioned way, the way we used to do it when I was younger, many moons ago. Um, so there, then your picture just slides right back in. Okay? And so we've got three different sizes 
of photos here and I even I don't have two two by twos but I do have this cute little one and it's surprising and I'll just cut it out here it's surprising you think oh a two by two well you know it's hardly worth putting in there like it's so small you're not really going to see you're not really going to see the image but you know what um, if you've got the face of a young child if you've got just part of a picture that was really cool maybe I don't know maybe it's a winning poker hand and a weekend of poker that you played and you want to have on there in this case it's my small my youngest um, grad kids out west um, and they're just in this little they're in this little um, automated uh, vehicle here so again I could just take the remove and replace away and put my photo there um, Let's see, what have we not used? Well, we don't need to use my big humongous one. Um, how about how about this double-sided tape? Um, so basically, it's very similar, and I'm just gonna cut this in half because I don't need this much. Okay, so I would put that on the back of my photo, and you don't, you know, like you don't need to cover it. You just need now. What I usually do is I have a I have a blade. But you could use your fingernails. I don't have much for fingernails. So I just peel peel the backing off here. And the tapes, ooh, yeah, tape stays is pretty sticky. Now this is this will be permanent. If you try to pull this up, you know, you're gonna um, wreck whatever's underneath it. So I usually when I'm doing this, I'll usually try to put the bottom part of the photo down, see how it sits, and then press it in. So so sorry for the glare, but so that's a, a pretty nice collage. Like I said, I don't have another um, two by two to put here. So that's how easy it is to size. So I have a couple of the um, templates. I have a four by six. I have the three by four um, template as well. And you can, like I said, you can take and, and write on these um, so that you have them. So if this is a four by six, you know, you can write on there, and then no matter how many photos you have that are four by four by sixes, if you're, you know, kind of sizing them down, you can use that, or your three by fours, you can use this. Just cut around them. Now, if you're, you know, if you're not that steady with your hand, uh, you could use a marker. I tend not to kind of want to do that because it leaves a dent in the photo. But if if that's the most convenient for you, then by all means, go ahead. It's what's ever easiest for you. Now. Um, like I said, a lot of my albums, or at least half of them, have the remove and replace. Um, I do that just to kind of give you an idea. But I do have some where I actually have a mat already down for you to place your photo. And it may not say anything. You just may say, oh yeah, okay, that's where a photo goes. I can tell that. And that would be a three by four. I, I know that from the size. My mats are cut, so if I'm putting a three by four photo down here, I can, this is a three and a quarter by four and a quarter mat. So if I was to take, uh, do I have a, let me see here. Yeah, let's use one of these. Um, so if I have a three by four photo here, and I'll check the size, then I'll have a really nice mat around it. That distinguishes it from the rest of the pattern paper. So lots of times when you're dealing with pattern paper, um, you'll have a mat in between your photo and the pattern paper. Uh, and it just gives it uh, a bit of a border so that it's not it's not clashing or, or causing interference with the, with the pattern paper behind it. So, okay, so I cut that out. Let me just check the size, make sure it's a, because uh, I know a couple of them were going to be a little bit different. Okay, that's... That is a three by four, yes. Okay, so if I use this one, okay, and I put it down here, see how it just kind of, that border offsets it? If I cut it, cut my picture at three and a quarter by four and a quarter, then basically it will be just be laying right on top of that mat. And if that's what you want to do, then that's fine. But you, and this picture probably shouldn't go with all the Bambies. Um, but, um, but that's a way that you can do that. And um, in some of my albums, I have just the mats. That, or I can have a combination 
of both um, matting. This album has mostly this type of thing. However, let me just grab it. It's a fairly, it's a fairly large al um, album. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to get this whole thing in screen. But um, let's say that, uh, let's find a place here. Okay, so here we've got a flap that's going to open. Let's see if I can get this in, yeah. So this flap is going to open up, okay? And I have some photo mats in here. So you'll see in here I have the remove and replace in here. Now, but this is a, this is a lot of area here. If I wanted to, you know, I could take, I could take that picture and put it there. It would make more sense to take a four by six because it would follow kind of the same um, outline as the page because it's more like of a, a landscape um, page than portrait. But that wouldn't stop me from using that. Um, so even though in some of my photo albums, there's just um, pattern paper, like I wouldn't want to cover up these, these cans of worms, they're so cute. But if I wanted, I could, but you can see here where the pattern paper basically almost gobbles up, gobbles up, <laughs> gobbles up the, the picture. So um, that's where a mat, let me see if I have something that would work for that, even white. Um, even if I had white around here, see how at least it, it separates the colors from the picture. So it, you know, doesn't kind of blend right in or get get lost within the pattern paper so that's why um, you have to kind of decide where you want if if you had some some white paper around you could you could build your own mats if there's a space where you wanted to put something in an album that you've received um, that you need to have that separation um, copy paper is probably not the best is because it's more flimsy but if you had cardstock or cover stock at home or even um, maybe even construction paper that you know you can buy that uh, maybe your kids use that might be fine too it's a little sturdier and you can just cut it a quarter of an inch bigger than your picture um, so in the case of a four by six it'd be four and a quarter by six and a quarter in the case of a, a three by four it'd be three and a quarter by four and a quarter that's usually what we go and that gives a really nice border around the pictures so um, like I said, in this in this album, there's plenty of, of space. Even a little two by three would go good there. Um, here, um, you can see where we have three by room for two three by fours and kind of a little envelope style. A four by six here. The back of this is plain. You could, you know, you could do lots with this. And then it's a it's a um, folder that has room for four by six and four by fours. So, um, and then this just slides inside. So, uh, like I said, this album and here we've got, you know, room for two four by sixes front and two four by sixes back. And that just slides in there. So that's just an example of how you'd see these in an album, um, the remove and replace and, and uh, that type of thing. So just as an, as an example there, um, I'll just put this heavy thing down. <laughs> so, um, I hope I've covered off everything. Um, like I said, you've got, you've got a couple of ways to print. You can use, if you have a small, um, printer that you can use from your phone. Uh, this was done from my, from my, uh, my, my phone, um, to my selfie. It's called, a, it's called a selfie printer. And this measures actually um, about three and a half by four and three quarters. So, um, so here's the other thing. If, if I only had a small picture for this, let me see if, oops, let me see if I have a smaller one. Uh, yeah, I do. Let's try this. So if I have this smaller picture now, this one was done on my selfie as well. It's not quite um, a regular size for me, but I was kind of doing some 
on montaging kind of stuff. Um, but even though your photo may not be, you know, the exact, so you've got a three and a quarter by four and a quarter mat, and your picture maybe is not three by four. Maybe it's smaller. Maybe it's, you know, it, you're printing it in some other software and it came out different. There's nothing wrong. This is, what is this one? This one here is, okay, this picture is only two and three quarters by eh, just a little over three and a half. So it's not the usual, um, but you know what? It looks great. So, you know, does not have to be exact. You can have that little border around here. And if it was going, if it was going over here where this one was, you would just have a little bit black, a bigger black border space around it. So, um, yeah. So, like you said, um, you can do your templates, make them out of just light plastic, or if you have some plastic packaging that came that's the heavier, heavier plastic, even better, it's more sturdy, um, you can use that. Keep your templates. So once you, once you look at your album and figure what sizes you need, uh, like I said, my usual sizes are 2x2, 2x3, 3x4, 3x3, 4x4, 4x6. So I try to keep them standards, no halves or 7x8s or anything like that. Uh, just to make it easier for, for p the people that, um, that purchase them and, and want to either give them as gifts or, or put them together themselves. So, um, sizing, we talked about that. We talked about the templates, um, and whether you print them at your printers or you print them, um, yourself. We talked about the different types of adhesive. So we've got our, we did not use the art glitter glue. I, I don't use that often. Uh, I, I don't care for glue. I find it, it tends to seep out no matter how careful you are, but it is an option. Um, we've talked about the double-sided tape and, um, you know, this one is double-sided. However, it comes out of a machine instead of having to peel this paper off the back. And then we have the little mini, the little mini version, which is right here, which is far easier for, you know, the casual crafter to use. Um, like I said, you peel the back off of this one. We have the photo corners, which are clear, but they're awesome. If you feel you're going to be removing some of your photos, um, we have a removable glue stick, which we use, which is easy to use. No massive cleanup. Uh, th this one is removable. So that's great. If you want to change things up or you can get the permanent as well, try to get acid free so that, um, there's no damage to your photos. Um, I think that's it. Uh, I hope this has helped anybody who either is in planning to purchase an album or already has purchased an album and is like super intimidated by it. Um, it's, it's not as tough as it looks. Um, anyways, I hope that helps, uh, everyone. And, uh, sorry that it took me a little bit to get it out to you. Um, life just sometimes gets in the way. Anyway, um, Feel free to go to my site, jrkhandcrafted.com. Have a look at the mini albums that are there. Um, I, I, uh, I do have uh, baby, uh, vacation, general, uh, that type of thing. And I'm constantly working on some. I just finished two huge ones that were for family. So I'm going to get back in the swing of, of doing some more here in the next little while. So, uh, Anyways, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for uh, helping me uh, put together this for uh, that I'll pass along to my kids and grandkids. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks so much.